everybody. It's Eric with the 5 to 9 Hustle. A little eBay how-to video for you today centered around promotions. I do think one of the biggest benefits of an eBay store subscription is the access you get to the different marketing tools. Um, I'm not as big a fan of the markdown sale. It's probably the most popular one. I, I do them from time to time, but always wonder, you know, on a pre-owned item or a vintage item, was it really that extra 10 or 20% off? that closed the deal or did just the right person find it on the right day. Uh, but anyway, so I had a nice order come in overnight. Person bought three ties. And you can see the green text here, sold with extra 20% off two plus items promotion. Um, so I have a, a sale on just my ties uh, rather than a markdown sale. I'll say, hey, if you buy two or more, you get 20% off. And um, I wanted to show you how to set that up it is another benefit of having an eBay store and organizing your stuff into categories. Uh, first off, I don't want this to be confused with volume pricing. As you see over here on this listing, I've got five of these. Volume pricing is for when you have a quantity of an item. And on that one listing, you're saying buy two, get 20% off, three, 30, or whatever. You can set your percentages the way you want. Um, and it's at the end when you're creating a new listing and it lets you add volume pricing if you want to. Even if you don't have a quantity of the item, it lets you add it. I think that confused a lot of people. So this is not volume pricing. This is a type of promotion called an order discount. So here I am. I'm on um, from Seller Hub. We go marketing promotions. That's where I am now. And then create a promotion. An order discount is the first one we want to do. Not volume pricing not sale event markdown, order discount. And let's see, where's gonna be the best place for me to hang out? Over here, it looks like. So then you have all these different types of offers. Um, spend X amount, get X amount or percent off different quantity, uh, buy one, get one, or just free money. I don't, I don't know how to do that one. Um, and you can, you can tell eBay what you're trying to do and it will give you some suggestions, but I recommend just, just, you know, making the decision yourself. Um, but so what I would do here is we want to do a quantity discount. Uh, so we want to do an extra percentage off and what I've done on my ties, I do this on video games too, 20% off if you buy two or more items, right? And then down here, select the items. All right. And get back out of the way. Two ways to do this is select the items, create rules using categories, and filters will include new items as they're listed. That's what I would like to do, create rules. And then you get your category drop down. Now you can do it by eBay categories or store categories. I usually go by store categories and just hope that I have all my stuff in the right um, category. Ties, I've got 101 listed, so I really do want to promote that. And like I said, I do the same thing with video games. I think I'm doing 15% off. then there are ways to exclude things, like if you only want it to be between a certain price point and that sort of thing. Um, but that's it. So you can give it a name that's more recognizable. Hi, order discount. And you can run it for a set time or until the, can you do it till the end of time? I don't remember. Um, I have to go back and look at mine. Maybe set it for a year, two years, I don't know. And then it gives you a little bit of text to fill out. I'm not actually not even real clear where all this shows up. But save 20% when you order two or more ties or lots. And that's what, that's what you're going to get. And these pictures are just pulled from my listings, or you can actually upload one. And then I'm not going to hit launch because I already have this promotion running. Uh, but it's very easy to set this up. 
um, and try to encourage, encourage bigger than single item orders. If you have a lot of something for someone to shop, I wouldn't do this if you only had 10 ties listed, it's maybe not worth your time. But I've got 100 ties listed, I've usually got 60 or 70 video games listed, um, so it makes sense. And every now and then, like last night, I get a nice order out of it. So I think it's worth taking a few minutes to set up, and it's kind of a set it, forget it thing. Um, so let's go ahead and close this out since I do already have one set up. Here's what it looks like on your listings. Um, no way. There we go. So I am, I'm cutting off the screen a little bit, but at the top over here, it's got, it's got a little sale symbol. It says extra 20% off two or more items. That's really the, the amount of promotion you get. Um, there might be a little promotion in, in the search results as well. But when I know when there's a volume discount, it shows right here under the price. Like, hey, buy one, buy two, buy three. I think it's more visible. So I did want to add some cross promotion. So what I'm going to attempt to do is add to all of my tie listings, um, you know, something to the effect of ties are always on sale, buy two or more to save 20% off your entire order. And I'm going to attempt to do that using the bulk editor. I haven't tried this before, so it should be interesting to see if it works. Now, you know, eBay doesn't like you putting links in your descriptions, but they will let you put links to other eBay pages. So um, I need a link, and I'm just going to use this one, see all eligible items. So if you're going to try this, I recommend setting up the promotion first, and then you can click your see all eligible items link from one of your listings. And it comes up like this. The other thing you could do is navigate to your store and then pull up that category. But I think um, the all eligible items link is a better way to go. Um, you saw when I was setting up the promotion, it's supposed to add new items to it as I list them. But what if it doesn't, you know? Um, what if I have a big tie lot come in, I list a bunch more ties and they're not in the promotion. If I use the link from my store category, then someone could be seeing some ties that are valid for the promotion and some that aren't. That's a little confusing. So I think it's safer to just use this link. And then I'm going to copy it. And if you, uh, you're going to need to know a little HTML to do this, but it's okay if you don't. I've got a site for you. I'll link in the description below. Um, it's uh, very easy to look up how to how to code a link in HTML, but like I said, if you don't want to do that, I've got this site. We'll do it for you. Put in the URL of where you want it to go, and our link text is going to be ties are on sale. Save 20% when you buy two or more. Click here. To shop more ties. That's really long link text, but I don't care. I'm not trying to do um, SEO. I'm just selling stuff on eBay. Okay. Um, then you click on generate link. It gives you a preview of what it's going to look like. You can click it to make sure it's going to the right spot. And then it gives you this HTML gobbledygook here. And what you need to do is just ignore all this stuff until you get to here where it says text link tag. And so from this little caret symbol and the A all the way down to the closing A, the caret symbol. Copy that. Now let's go back over to eBay. And then I want to find... I'm on store categories. I want to get all my ties, which I have just included in my order promotion, order discount promotion. Because I have 101 listed. I'm going to select them all and edit all 101 with the bulk editor. Okay. 
Some of my listings could not be processed. Something went wrong. Something went wrong. I hate it when that happens because um, I never know why. But if I only get 99 out of the 101, then I guess that's okay as well. I'm going to move this over a little bit. I've got the screen cut off. There we go. I don't know why. Okay. So we're going to select all of our listings. We're going to go to edit fields and then item description. And then let's make myself a little bit smaller here. So I haven't tried this before, but I believe what will happen is anything I type in this box will append to the end of all those item descriptions. Since we're doing a link, we do need to um, click over to the HTML tab. And we're just going to paste that code in that we copied from the other website. And then we're going to save and close. I don't know what happens if I click back. Okay, if I click back to standard, it shows that it's working. Um, that actually gives me an idea. I think I'm going to shorten that link. I'm just going to say click here to shop more ties. Generate that. Recopy. Back over here. Replace. Okay, I like that better. And then I'll just use normal text. Ties are always on sale. Save 20% when you buy two or more. Um, ties or lots. I'm not really sure how to phrase it because I have a lot of individual tie listings, but I also have a lot that are um, a bundle of three. And it's, you know, it's based on the listing is what they're going to say there. Um, so there we go. And now I'm going to save and close. It's going to process the 99 listings. I probably won't even try to find the two that it didn't add to and just say, hey, 99 out of 101 is good enough. And then let's submit changes and see what happens. Thirty-four listings did not update. Hmm, I wonder why. View active listings. It did put okay, and then it doesn't tell me which ones didn't update. That's great. That's just great. Okay. Well, I'm, so I'm interested to see if it did work, and who knows if this is one that updated or not, but let's refresh this page and see. No, I got nothing there. Let's check this one out. I got nothing there. Hmm. Yeah, kind of a bummer. It seems like it would have kept the window open and left the 34 in there that didn't update or give me a reason why they didn't update. Okay, here's one that worked. So ties are always on sale. Save 20% when you buy two or more uh, ties or lots. Click here to shop more ties. And then that didn't work. And then it did work. Okay. Not... <laughs> Not loving some eBay stuff that's going on here. Um, <laughs> but I thought I had a good idea to do some cross promotion on all my tie listings. Apparently I'm cross promoting on um, about 65 of them, <laughs> which is better than nothing, I guess. And apparently sometimes the link works when you click on it and sometimes it doesn't. So yes, follow this awesome tutorial and you too, can maybe sell some more 
uh, items. You have a lot of in the same category. <laughs> All right, it worked this second time, so hopefully, hopefully that was just a rando glitch. Um, but now to go figure out how to isolate the ones that did not update. Thanks for watching. Sometimes it's a comedy of errors, um, but I do think there was some useful information in there on how to append all the listings at once. There's no idea why the 34 didn't work. No idea at all. But have a great day. I'll catch you next time.